Welcome to its Rafiq. In this video, I am going to discuss some important questions which may ask in your viva for your computer science practical examination which is going to be held tomorrow. So first I am coming to chapter 3. The question might be like that. Uh, which type of images you can insert into a web page? Your answer will be GI, JPG and PNG. What is the best format to display digital photograph? It is JPEG. How many colors does JPEG contain? It will be 1 million color. How many color contained in GIF? It is 256 colors. What is the best format of photograph for displaying transparent images? It will be PNG. Which tag is used to display an image to a web page? IMG tag. Is IMG tag is container or empty? It is an empty tag. IMG tag doesn't have any empty. So as your exam is tomorrow, so I don't have enough time for editing to write the questions on the screen. So just I am saying the questions orally. You can follow the questions and listen to the questions. I hope you will understand my problem. And uh, next question can be what are the attribute of IMG tag? It will be SRC, Alt, Height and Width. Then what is the use of Alt attribute? Alt attribute display an alternate image alternate text for the image if the image is not displayed on the web page. Which attribute of IMG tag is used to specify the location of the image? The answer will be SRC. Then now come to next uh, tables. Which is the main tag to display table in a HTML document? It will be table. And if asked, what are the tag that is used in a tab, uh, to create a table? Your answer will be table, tr, td, th, caption. Then, what is the use of caption tag? Caption tag is used to define the caption or title for the table. What is the default value of caption size? It is always top. Like this, and uh, which tag is used to insert heading for a table? Your answer will be th. Which table is used to insert a row in a table? Your tab answer will be tr and if asked what is a table it is a collection of rows and columns or you can also say a table is a intersection of rows and columns mainly this type of question might ask from the table and also can ask what are the attribute of table tag or what are the properties of table this one you can say this border space and caption and all and what are the values of text align this is left right center what are the values of vertical align top middle bottom what is padding the empty spaces between the border and the content of the cell so from the table my uh, mostly this type of question will ask now we'll move to the question chapter 4 which is links and frames in html5 so here it first asks uh, can ask what is a link so in book it's already there you can say that one only hyperlink is an unidirectional pointer from source document that contain link to the destination within the same web page name different type of links you'll see internal local and global also learn the definition of its link how will you know that a link is internal or local or how will you know that a link is internal you will say that if the link has has symbol after href then we know that the link is internet then can also can ask how you know that a uh, content in a web page is a link, uh, link or a text then say when we hand over through a link the mouse pointer changes to a hand symbol through this we can know that whether the text is a link or a normal text then can ask uh, which tag is used to create a link it is anchor tag or we'll say <clears throat> a tag whether it is container or empty it is an empty uh, it is an container tag what are the attribute of a tag href name and uh, title then uh, which what are the attribute or uh, what are the values of target attribute it's a blank parent self and top then this color also remember link uh, default link color is blue visited link color is purple active link color is red and 
hover it appears when you hand over through a link and uh, how you can create an image as a link so you will say that we'll write the image command inside the a tags means uh, in between the a opening and closing a tag we'll write the image command to create a image as a link and how you can create a uh, email as a link we'll use mail to keyword in href inside href attribute so inside the at href attribute to create an email as a link so this will will say and frames it's not required because it is omitted so mainly this part is uh, required from chapter 4 now we'll move to chapter 5 xml xml i hope it will not come in exam but still i'm saying some important questions from here first why xml was developed we'll say that uh, html was unable to specify the uh, requirement of the world wide web so and it is a, a not perfect uh, it does not have a perfect structure to share the information between different systems so w3c developed html uh, xml in 1997 and it can ask what is the main difference between html and xml tags the same said because it, it asking in oral you will see just one difference that html tags are predefined and xml tags are user defined and what is the what is root element you will say the first element of a xml document is called root element what is the structure of an xml document will say it's look like a tree what is xml element an xml element is everything from the opening tag to closing tag including the start tag and tag and the content then uh, rules i think it will not ask because uh, just one mark that long question will not ask and can ask who is further of xml this is zone bosha then again uh, mainly which character is used to enter a new line in xml file this is lf or cr what is white space in xml the empty spaces between two words is known as white space so these things you can say now we'll move to javascript first question will be who developed javascript javascript is was developed by brandon h and uh, next can ask what is a variable a variable is a container where we can store values and retrieve later when it's required then what is the use of alert statement it is used to display information to the web page in a message box what is the use of prompt dialog box it is used to take input from the user what is the use of document dot write it is used to display information to the web page what is comment comment uh, are short explanation of the program it is ignored by the browser different type of comment single line comment and multi line comment name different type of data in javascript number string and boolean which keyword is used to declare a variable in javascript it will be var what is a operator the symbol using expression is known as operator what is the use of assignment to assign value to a variable what is the importance of semicolon if we want to write multiple lines multiple statement in a single line then we use semicolon to separate the statement and uh, what is binary operator the operator which required exactly to operand is known as binary operator uh, then different type of operator arithmetic operator in uh, increment decrement operator logical operator comparison operator design different logical operator you can write and or not different comparison operator equal to not equal to so these things you will write oh, so you will see then uh, if statement different form of if statement mean ask if if else if else if and switch that is not required because it's omitted now we'll move to question uh, chapter 7 here mean the first question might be what is a loop it is an uh, repetition of same statement for multiple times different types of loop for while do i and entry and exit already i have told many times when the condition of the loop is checked at before while entering it is known as entry control and when it check at after exiting from the loop it is known as exit control and example for entry control while and do while, uh, while and for and for exit control do while and remember exit control can loop 
loop can run at least one time even if it is false but exit control loop uh, entry control loop cannot run if the condition is false three parts of a for loop uh, then uh, for this one you will save initialization text expression and increment or decrement what is loop body the statement that we write inside curly braces of a loop is known as loop body or the the statement which execute inside a loop is known as loop body this one you can see then from the loop looping state uh, chapter or chapter 7 break and continue statement is not required so you will skip that part now we will move to mysql chapter from mysql you see some simple simple question like who developed mysql the three persons are there david xmark alan larson michael witness and what are the different categories of commands mysql command or sql command you will say ddl dml tcl dcl dql and also learn the full form of its command and at least two command inside its category and can ask what is uh, which keyword is used to create a database uh, or write the say the SQL statement to create a database name school. You will say create database school. Which, com which command is used to build the database? You will say drop database, then the database name. And can also ask which command is used to activate a database. It is use command. Use database, use, then the database name. Then uh, this can ask what is the primary key? The unique field of a table is known as primary key. What is a table? It is a collection of rows and columns. What is a degree of a table? The number of columns in a table is known as degree of a table. What is cardinality? The number of rows in a table is known as cardinality. And uh, how many characters are allowed to uh, give a table name? To assign a table name, you will say 30 characters. And difference between varchar and character? The character allowed only fixed length characters and varchar allowed variable length characters this one you can say um, what is the use of select statement select statement is used to uh, display the information to a from a table and what is the use of insert st statement it is used to insert the values to a table so this type of question may ask main, mainly is a question only it will ask and uh, i hope uh, you will easily able to answer the questions if you read the chapters once and if you still have any questions which you have not understood, you can write in comment section. Definitely I will help you. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.